Now we will see the anatomy of cockroach. So in morphology, we looked at the morphological features. In anatomy, we will see the internal structures of the cockroach. In internal structure, we will be seeing about the circulatory system, digestive system, respiratory system, the nervous system, and excretory system. First, we will see about the digestive system. To go into the digestive system, first we have to know the mode of nutrition. Their mode of nutrition is omnivorous holozoic. Holozoic means they will consume the only solid foods like insects or plants or ham. Now we will see the parts of the digestive system. Uh, Cockroach digestive system is divided into uh, foregut, midgut and hindgut. Now we will see the foregut. The parts of foregut are <coughs> mouth, pharynx, esophagus, then crop, and finally gizzard. So in mouth, this is the place where the food enters. And pharynx acts as a pathway and it consists of uh, musculature that helps in swallowing of food. Then esophagus, way through which that food will go into the crop. crop will be look like a sack. Here the food will be stored. So large amount of food will be stored in the crop and when it is needed, small amount of food will go and digest in the small intestine. Gizzard. In gizzard, there will be a cutaneous teeth that is helpful for grinding of food. So below this, this teeth, the seal will be present. Seal means it will be look like net-like structures and that helps in filtering of food. And a wall called stomodial wall that present to prevent the backward flow of the food. In this image, you can see the mouth and pharynx, esophagus and a big sac-like structure called crop and gizzard. Now we will see about the midgut. In this image you can see some finger like projections. They are uh, helpful in secreting digestive juices and midgut is a site for digestion and absorption. So midgut is also called the sneezel tron. And the midgut is covered by peritrophic membrane that helps, uh, that protects the wall of the midgut from hard particles of the food. And the midgut is lined by glandular epithelium. So these cells can produce enzymes or digestive juices. Next we will see about the hindgut. In hindgut, uh, the uh, undigested food will be excreted out through the hindgut. In hindgut, there are three parts. One is ileum. Next, colon. Last one is rectum. Ileum is a short narrow tube and colon will be a coil structure and rectum ends into the anus. And you can see in this image malficient tubes and we see detail about that in excretory system. And most of the genitals will be found at the lower part of the abdomen in both males and females. Now we will see uh, this lower part of the abdomen in different views uh, in dorsal and ventral view. First we will see this thing in dorsal view. So 
this is the male cockroach and this one is the female cockroach. The only difference between the male and female is male cockroach contains two things called anal style. So anal style will be present in the male cockroach and there will be no anal style present in the female cockroach. Now we will see the bedroom view. So in male cockroach, the genital pouch will be present. So this is the 9th segment and this is the 10th segment. So the genital pouch will be present at the 9th and 10th segment. But in female, the genital pouch will be present in 3 segments, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Sorry, they will present only in 7, 8, 9. So, genital pouch will be present. This is the other difference that we can see in the regular view. Cockroach has open circulatory system and their blood vessels are poorly developed. And they are homocoherent. That means because of the poorly developed blood vessels, the blood will be present in the open cavities or the body cavities and the organs will be floating in that blood. Now we will see the parts of circulatory system. Uh, cockroach has tubular heart. That means the heart will be like a tube. tubular and it contains a hole here that is called ostea and the, here it will be closed and the open end is called as anterior aorta and there are three sinuses they are divided by two partitions the first sinus is pericardial sinus, that is this space and till heart. So this is pericardial sinuses. Below this is perivisceral sinuses. below this thing, the lower part of the body is perineural sinuses because here will be uh, neural cords will be present. And this is above the heart, cardium, so it is called pericardial sinuses. And the line that is dividing these things are called ventral diaphragm. So these are the parts of cockroach heart. And here will be some muscles. They are called allergy muscles. The heart lies in the mid dorsal line of the cockroach and heart is a pumping organ. Now we will see the process of circulation. So this is the process of circulatory system. First, uh, from the aorta, the blood moves to the perineural sinuses. From here, it moves into perineural sinuses and then it again come to perivisceral sinuses then through the contraction of that muscle uh, 
contraction of alveolar muscles the blood will go into the pericardium so when that muscle relaxes then from pericardial sinuses it again goes to heart now we will see it in some diagrammatic way So this is the lateral view of cockroach. So this is the heart. And this is the anterior iota. So the anterior iota. And this is the heart. And this is the pericardial sinuses. And here is the perivisceral sinuses. Here is the perineural sinuses. So the blood comes out from the anterior iota and enters into the perineural sinuses. And again, from perineural, it is go it goes into perivisceral sinuses. When this alveolar muscle contracts, this blood goes into the pericardial sinuses. And again, when this alveolar muscles relaxes, it again comes into the heart. So thereby the circulation happens and it, and it keep on happening. Uh, cockroach heart consists of 13 chambers. So three will be found in thorax and ten will be in abdomen. Now we will see the respiratory system. So here in this image you can see the respiratory system. There will be a network or cellular network of trachea. So now we will see the structure of trachea. Uh, see, this is the trachea, and the hole here is the spiracle. So this trachea branches to form tracheoles. So these tracheoles connect to the cells and through diffusion gas exchange occurs. So Oxygen goes through this hole called spiracle. And to add on, here will be one sphincter that will control the opening of that hole. Thank you for watching. Visit us.